Before the financial crisis, not many people had heard of the term systemic risk and even fewer people knew what it was. What is systemic risk and why did economists miss it? The answer can be found a short walk from the financial centre in the City of London to a bridge, the Millennium Bridge. The first new bridge to span the River Thames for a hundred years, it was opened on the 10th of June 2000. But within moments of being opened, the bridge began to sway violently. The reason for the swaying was a mystery to the bridge's engineers and designers. In the process, it earned the nickname, the Wobbly Bridge. Now, the reason the bridge wobbled is because of a risk to the bridge that no one foresaw. It turns out that that risk is the same systemic risk that brought the financial system to near collapse. To see how this was a systemic risk, we first need to understand the system at risk. The system here is the bridge. Engineers know when a bridge is built, especially a long bridge like this one here, that soldiers, when they cross the bridge, have to get out of lockstep, otherwise they will create all of these risks and the wobbling of the bridge. But the engineers thought there was no chance for that to happen here because lots of people would walk over the bridge. Some walk slowly, some walk quickly. There would be big people and small people and dogs and old people like we see now. As people were walking on the bridge, a gust of wind hit it, caused the bridge to sway slightly. As a consequence, some pedestrians were leaning against the movement in this way. That in turn pushed the bridge back. Soon you got feedback between pedestrians doing this sort of movement, and the bridge swaying back and forth more and more and more. And very quickly, all of these people, even though they didn't know each other, were marching like an army across the bridge. So what happens is individuals trying to stabilize themselves, they make the bridge more unstable. The systemic event was a little sway from the wind and it's just the fact of doing the right thing for every one of them individually that is creating the systemic risk to all of them together. And this idea is everywhere in the financial markets as well. Flash crash in 2010 is a perfect example of a feedback loop such as the ones on the Millennium Bridge. The flash crash was a crazy fall in asset valuations due to computer-based trading. Prices fell enormously and recovered very quickly in a few minutes. So there was this big investor who was going to sell in Kansas City. The investor used an algorithm that decided to sell more if there's more action going on in the markets. Because if there's more action going on, the algorithm can hide behind all the other action and not be found out. So this algorithm sold initially, prices fell initially, and what then happens is the first guys who buy and sell in these markets are these very high frequency, very quick traders who bought from the investor. Because nobody came in, they passed the parcel around, buying from each other, selling to each other, and therefore the action in the market became very large. There's more and more trading going on. But as more trading appears in the market, the first algorithm looked at that and said, hmm, this is interesting. Now I will sell even more and then prices fall even more and we have this vicious feedback loop until you know prices fell by so much that real money investors looked at that and said this is too crazy and a few minutes later the whole market was pulled up again and the risk revealed that day was that algorithms that individually do the right thing if they act together can create huge variations and gyrations in market far away from fair values. What the Systemic Risk Center is working on is to identify the hidden risks in the financial system with a view to work with the authorities to formulate policies that identify and mitigate systemic risk in financial markets. Financial crises are all fundamentally the same. We lend too much money into increasingly bad investments with everything eventually ending up in a crisis. The reason why we can't prevent financial crises is that the details differ. Every single time we only know really what happened after the event and therefore we can't prevent it. Systemic risk is caused by the interaction of people in financial markets who at the worst possible time all come together, behave in the same way, all selling the same assets and thereby causing financial markets to crash. And that is exactly the same behavior as with the people on the Millennium Bridge. They're all trying to do the best for themselves, they're all trying not to fall, but perversely that's exactly what caused the bridge to sway. And the lesson is, don't get carried away by events, think also about the mechanism. Don't get carried away by the wind affecting the bridge. You should also think about how the people on the bridge will behave.